A shocking turn of events six weeks prior to Election Day, congressional incumbent Rick West has died of an apparent heart attack. His opponent, State Senator Peter Kane, now runs unopposed, canceling tonight's highly anticipated debate. He gave this statement earlier today. With West Sudden's passing, you've gone overnight from Dark Horse to Sure Thing. What is your response? Well, first and foremost, I want to express my condolences to the West family. Although the congressman and I agreed on very little, I still considered him a worthy opponent. What about criticisms of your plans to pass laws to restrict religious freedoms and support bigger government? That's enough questions for now. Thank you, guys. We need answers. He's got to go. Senator, we need answers. Thank you, guys. Appreciate it. Thank you. Yeah. So this would have been our battleground, huh? Oh, I wish I could have debated West. I could have struck the death blow myself. <laughs> Senator. Dan Thompson, big fan of the show. <laughs> Gentlemen, the passing of Rick West may allow us to catch up with the rest of the modern world. I have always said that religious superstition has no place in influencing our laws and government. So. Here's to enlightenment, reason, and reshaping our nation's core. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. You see those statues and those monuments out there? They're trying to tell us something. They're saying, don't forget about us. Don't forget about the, the battles that we fought and the price that we paid for freedom. Don't let our sacrifice be in vain. In the long history of the world, only a few generations have been granted the role of defending freedom in its hour of maximum danger. Ask not what America will do for you, but what together we can do for the freedom of man. That's part of your plan, isn't it? Keep us all divided so bit by bit we don't realize you're chipping away at our freedoms and liberties because it's all about power for you. And the only way that you can get more power is by taking it from someone else. And that would be all well and good if it wasn't for that pesky thing called the Constitution that keeps getting in your way. Without God, we're mired in the material, that flat world that tells us only what the senses perceive. Without God, there is a coarsening of the society. And without God, democracy will not and cannot long endure. If we ever forget that we're one nation under God, then we will be a nation gone under. They know what's at stake here. And maybe in order to understand how precious and fragile freedom really is, maybe, maybe you have to lose it.